What is up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial with Walking on Water. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to tie up my very own Walking on Water hybrid hoochie, just like this, as well as the Walking on Water kokanee trolling fly, just like the one you see right here. Now, both of these can be used for Chinook salmon, and we'll talk about how they can be used for Chinook salmon, and why these are kokanee versus Chinook lures later on in the video, but let's get right into it. All right, guys, let's get into the freaking bread and butter of these flies. We're gonna talk about the ingredients really fast, what you're gonna need, just the bare bone stuff. We're not gonna be using a fly mount today, nothing like that, and we're just gonna wrap them with whole, while we're holding it in our hand, just so you guys can see how easy it really is, okay? SalmonElixir.com hooked me up with a bunch of this Mylar, absolute huge selection of Mylar, and it's absolutely freaking awesome, and I would go back to them a 100 times to buy more, so. Obviously, we're gonna go with orange and blue, and then we're gonna take a pink with our hybrid hoochie, and we're gonna pair it with the blue-green as well. Everybody knows that Kokanee just loves pink and orange, and so that's what we're gonna do here today. We're gonna tie up an orange and a blue-green, and a pink and a blue-green, but let's move on. So the next ingredient is the bobbit, or just a threader of any kind. This is a super cheap one, like $13, and all you do is put the lineup through, Give it a little suck, it'll pull that line right up through for you guys, a little tip. And then I like using the UV pink, and this is what we're gonna wrap all of our stuff with, okay? Next, go to your mom's closet, or your girlfriend's makeup, or your wife's. Um, steal it from your sister. I'm just kidding, don't steal anything. But we're gonna grab some of the, the clear nail polish. Now you can use the expensive stuff. You can go to the, spend $30 on the cement for your flies. I would, I would do that too, but I had this on hand today and it works great. All you gotta do, my only little tip, once you do bind the, the yarn with the nail polish, leave it out, let it sit in the sun for a little bit so it dries, smellless, catch a fish all day. And last but not least, we have our two little fly heads just like this. This is what we're gonna attach everything to. This is the skeleton, this is the structure. This is what is gonna hold that thing and fish very, very clean. Let's get started. First things first, when you're tying a fly, okay, you're gonna grab your yarn, just like so. You see I'm just pinching the head, the top of the head, with my two fingers, just like so, because we're not using them out today. I'm just showing you guys that you can do it at home without all the expensive stuff, okay? And then we're just gonna wrap. We're gonna lay a nice wrap layer on the smooth part, the flat part of this fly head, just like that doesn't have to be a ton. I just like to cover all the clear stuff up initially, just like that, okay guys? Then we're gonna grab our string, okay? I'm gonna wrap it a couple more times so you guys can see it, okay? And then we're gonna wrap our string and let it hang, just like that, okay? Then you're just gonna grab the string with your two fingers, turn it once, put it over, let it drop, okay? We're half hitching right now. It's called a half hitch. I like to do three half hitches every time I tie off, okay? So there's three, pull it down tight, pull some more yarn out. Now, we have wrapped the whole entire base of this fly and we have put in our half hitches, okay? Now, next thing we need to do is set this aside, okay? We have our Mylar out just like so, okay? We have the two colors that we're gonna use and for these small kokanee flies and hybrid hoochies, you do not need to use a ton of mylar. These are not giant fish. Now, if you're doing one for Chinook, then you could do a three inch stretch. I like to do two inches a piece, okay? So as you can see down here, we have a tape measure. I'm just gonna put that on the tape measure, measure out two inches, bring it up, and just cut it right down just like that. Move that off to the side, grab your orange, move it down, okay? Bring it back up and cut a two inch piece, okay? And move that off to the side. Now, we have two pieces of two inch mylar, okay? And as you can see, see how it's so long, okay? And then you see the hybrid hoochie? See how long it is in comparison? If you were doing one for Chinook, you wouldn't cut this at all, okay? But if you're doing a hybrid hoochie, you would trim it down so it's fitting for the size of fish that you're fishing for. So, let's get into tying this thing up. Now we're gonna grab our business end again that we've already wrapped and we've already half hitched just like so, okay? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the fly first, okay? 
So for a fly versus the hybrid hoochie, the fly, when you tie it, you're actually gonna tie it backwards, okay? Because when it's moving through the water, you want the water to pull that back. So it's a fly, okay? See how the head's sticking out and I'm my hand's the water and I'm pulling it back? That's how you want the fly to work in the water. So we're gonna tie it just like that, okay? We're gonna grab it, hold our head and pinch it with our thumb. And I always like to do just a couple wraps, just like that. So it holds everything in place before I actually start wrapping it around. It just makes it a lot easier. See how it's holding it in place? It's not falling off. Otherwise, it just becomes a big hassle, okay? And then we're just gonna hold it tight and slowly wrap it. Keep wrapping it till it's tight, just like that. Then we're gonna pinch it. Okay. And then we're gonna clear our line of all the little hairs or the skirt. Okay, just like that. Just like that. And then we're gonna continue wrapping. Okay, get a couple wraps on it so it's tight. Get your skirt back down and then pinch the head. Then we're gonna do exactly what we did with the base and that is wrap, okay? I don't like to overwrap the middle one, okay? Cause you don't want it too bulky up top. I like to just cover up the mylar. And so as we're wrapping, just be mindful of that. Don't get, don't wrap all in one spot, wrap evenly, okay? As you can see, we're nice and evenly wrapped. It's not all covered up. You can see a little bit of uh, blue green there, but that's perfectly fine because we're gonna be covering this up with another color, okay? So we're gonna do again, grab your line and twist, just like that, pull it tight, okay? And I like to do, like I said, I like to do three half hitches every time. Just like that, three half hitches. And here is the bottom color of our kokanee fly. If you guys are enjoying this video, just smash the like button, please. Help that algorithm out. Let's get more people learning how to be self-sufficient and tying their own stuff so they can feel how amazing it feels to get out there on the water and catch fish on their own stuff. It's the most amazing feeling. So just smash the like button, guys. Thank you. Let's get back into the video. Now, let's go ahead and put our second color on. Take a look at it, okay? So again, we got it wrapped. We're gonna grab our second piece of mylar. We're going opposite with this one as well. I like to pinch, just like that. Squeeze the top of the head. Give it a couple wraps so it holds that mylar on. Then I grab the base of it and I pull it straight up so I can wrap the rest of it right around. Okay, so you're wrapping. Some of the hairs can get caught in there, that's fine, a couple of them. I wouldn't, I would reset if you get too many in there, but okay, so now we're wrapped. Make sure it's nice and straight. Clear the majority of your hairs again with the yarn and give it a couple wraps so it holds that in place, okay? And then brush your skirt back down. And if you get one caught, that's fine. And then we're just gonna keep wrapping it, okay? Just like that. We're gonna reset again and brush it all down. Now we're gonna, let's finish this thing out, okay? So on the last wrap, I do like to cover every bit. I like to go from the top of the head right there so it squeezes that mylar down so you get that good fly reaction when it's traveling through the water, okay? So we're gonna wrap, 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 all the way down to the bottom, and then once more, all the way back up, and then back down to the bottom again. Make this a little tighter, just like that. Then again, three half hitches. Just like that. I'll sh if you are confused on the half hitch, I'll show you the half hitch slow in just a second, okay? So the half hitch, it's hanging, Okay, just like that. You're just grabbing the line like this, 
I just grab it with my two fingers, scissor fingers like this, grab it and just turn it into one loop. Put that loop over the head of the fly, let it fall down and that's a half hitch just like that, okay? So then we're gonna grab our scissors, lift it up a tiny bit, and just give it a snip. Move that off to the side. And now we're half hitched, okay? The fly's in, all the mylar is locked into place. Then we're just gonna go over, we're gonna grab our nail polish, okay? We're gonna get the majority of it off because you don't wanna glob it on there. Okay, hopefully it'll sit on my toe. Then we're gonna grab it just like so and just paint the line. I like to dab the tag so the tag goes down. Do a full circle all the way around it. Don't need to do a ton, just like that. Remove the nail polish, just blow on it a little bit. Let's get this one dry so you guys can see it. See, it dries so fast, but the smell will stay there for a little while. That's why I like to leave mine out until they're fully dried and there's no more smell, okay? And then, see how this thing looks. And there it is, guys. Here is a walking on water kokanee trolling fly. And right now it's a Chinook fly. See how long the skirt is? Right now you could troll big bodies of water, Great Lakes, Lake Coeur d'Alene, bays, oceans. And this could be a trolling fly mocking a squid, utilizing it just like you would a hoochie in any kind of fishery that you utilizes hoochies. But we do this, I grab it like this. I spin it just a little bit and then I measure it out and I go an inch and a half, okay? And then we take our scissors and we cut it just like that. And then we have a walking on water kokanee trolling fly just like that. And let's get into the walking on water hybrid hoochie. All right, guys, so we got the head all wrapped up. I like to grab a tiny little piece of scotch tape, okay? Just like so. And on these pieces of mylar that I use for the hybrid hoochies, I only go one inch a piece. And I'm actually gonna overlap these just like you see in the video right there. And then I'm gonna grab that little piece of scotch tape. I'm gonna put it on the pink, okay? And I'm gonna put it just like that over the blue so we can get a little mixture going on our wrap, okay? And now we're gonna grab our head. Now these ones, unlike the fly that's laying this way, we're gonna put the mylar directly down so it's perfectly imitating a hoochie, okay? Now these ones are a little bit harder to wrap initially because they're not going the right direction. So I, again, I like to do three wraps around until I get my mylar secured on there, okay? And then we're gonna grab the head and we're gonna start wrapping Get it all straightened out, wrap it around. I like to go as tight to the top of the head of that fly as possible, just like that. And then we're gonna continue wrapping, okay? I'm gonna do a couple wraps. Try to clear all your, so we're not using a lot of mylar on the hybrid hoochie flies, right? So as many skirt pieces as you can save, you should, okay? So brush it down, just like that. And then we're gonna wrap the head of this fly all the way, we're not gonna leave any color. We're gonna wrap it all the way to the top. Okay, you can even switch sides with your hands, which makes it a lot easier if you start grabbing the skirt and holding all your pieces back. Okay, and then we're gonna wrap all the way to the top of the head. I like to do a little bit of bulk at the top so it tapers all the way down. We're gonna continue just wrapping until we don't see any of that mylar color anymore all the way down to the bottom of that fly head. Keep wrapping. Okay, a couple more wraps and we're done. Just like that, okay? And then we're gonna brush it out, just like so. Then, we're gonna, just like we did, just like I showed you before, 
three half hitches, pull it tight. Okay, pull it tight. And then pull it tight. We're gonna grab our scissors. And then we're gonna cut it off, just like so. And then we have our walking on water hybrid hoochie. purchase any of these flies that you see being tied up in this video today, email me at walkingonwaterfishing at gmail.com. Set up, I can make any color you want. I can sell you some pre-made lures and I will gladly sell individual multicolored packs of just the hoochies themselves or just the flies themselves and you guys can do all the rigging yourself. Or I'll rig them up, I'll beat them up, I'll put um, spinners or I'll put um, smiley blades on them and ship them directly to your door. Thank you guys so freaking much for tuning in to this episode. Again, thank you guys. If you enjoyed this video, like the video. It helps me a ton. If you learned something, share it out to one of your family members. And thank you guys so freaking much. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. I will catch you in the next one.